All right, guys, welcome to Simply Bitcoin, the show that breaks down all the daily Bitcoin news from Twitter to daily updates, cringy fails, and daily meme reviews. We've got it all. But before we get started, drop us a like and subscribe. Okay, we're going to kick it off with the Clark Moody dashboard. We're kicking it off with block height of 650,564. We're looking at a Bitcoin price of 10,772. Uh, we're looking at chain rewrite days of 521 and total lightning capacity, 1,112.60 BTC. Climbing up, baby. Climbing up. Right. Climbing Do up. It. All right, Phil. It's time for the Daily Fail. All right. Today's Daily Fail is something that's been going on on Twitter for... Uh, eh. A little bit of time now, and I think everyone's going to find it uh, fairly familiar. It's this uh, this little spat that's going on between Plan B and uh, and uh, the uh, the CEO of uh, of Swan Bitcoin, Corey Clipston, our boy. Shout out, Corey right. Clips- Clipston's our homie. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's let's put let's put this on. Okay, it's actually it's it's a meme brought to us from Stawala. Okay, Mr. Buckethead, but th- this was just such a great meme that totally. Here we go. <laughs> it's only one minute, so. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've blocked. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First, shout out to the room, okay? Because that movie is is everything, okay? Yeah. So then, then, dude, look, look, look. Corey's the man. He's our homie. Like, so Plan B acted like like a child, okay? Like straight up child. And everyone giving him flack about like the docs and the, and the that's BS, man. Plan B put that out publicly. That was already publicly stated information. And the fact that the fact that Plan B cannot take criticism right from from perfectly legitimate like good points brought up by Corey like come on man and what you do you block like no that's that's weak man I I I didn't like that at all what do you think Phil so I I got blocked by plan B for liking Corey's comments um I've never actually interacted with plan B so I just want to start with that I've never actually interacted with him myself I've shared many of his tweets in the past because I did find them you know insightful and I still do to a certain extent. Um, okay, so I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate, even though I still agree with Corey. Um, the one piece, right? I, I think that I, I think that unfortunately this would have gone a lot better uh, for Corey if that quote-unquote doxing information didn't come out. Even though this doxing thing was more a perception issue than it was an actual dox, right? But now that's the type of thing that is pretty much can't be undone uh, in in terms of you know, reputation and stuff like that. So that, that's a little bit difficult. Um, but in terms of the points that Corey's making, um, you know, for those of us that do follow charting and uh, that, that, you know, look at re-technical analysis, we understand that it, it's an art. It's not a science, which means that it, it's not guaranteed. So although we, you know, appreciate the bullishness of, you know, the, the S2F model, um, I, I just think that we we should remain grounded, and I think that maybe one of the messages we should take away from that is that hey, you know, like there are two sides to this coin, and we need to understand both sides. Absolutely. So need, yeah, we, I, I definitely. So to just to wrap it up, though, I, I do think that what happened on you know Plan B side was was childish, and I, I think that he kind of took the you know the wrong approach about this. I think he should have debated Corey and uh, in in a different way, and. Um, you know what? This is turning out to be some serious freaking drama. 
It is. It is some some Bitcoin Twitter some, drama. Some serious all this over a model. <laughs> all over a model, man. All Just this over a freaking all over a model. Like a, but, but, but 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 I blame that. I blame that escalation on Plan B, man. Because yeah. Corey, Corey was just challenging, and uh, you know we 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 do have to you know report two sides of the story, but uh, we're both team Corey, baby. Yeah, swap hey. Bitcoin all the way. Um, all right, so Phil, it's time for the daily meme review. All right, Phil, you're gonna you're gonna absolutely find this hysterical. Okay, it's you know it's it's kind of an old school meme, but it's definitely an OG meme. And just hold on, hold on to your pants. All there right, that, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's do it. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. Okay, that was freaking epic. <laughs> it's a, it's a tough one, but I am gonna uh, I'm gonna stick within our range. Ten. Ten. Yeah, Phil, that was fucking. <laughs> sorry, that was that was freaking. Sorry, Jim, that was that was freaking hilarious. Um, man, drum roll, please. You, you guys are. You guys already know what the hell I'm gonna give this, okay? This is this is uh this is this is a this is a 15, okay? Yeah, I uh, I definitely definitely love just the whole intro, the way it just the way it just all kicks in, and then of course you just see the chart correlating with the happening. It, it's all of it is fantastic. Phil, I think it's time for the daily news, sponsored by. The news is pretty, pretty, pretty menacing, pretty menacing. It almost seems like all the governments are kind of teaming up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so, then they fight you. So we're, we're here, right? We're at the, then they fight you part. Exactly. Then they, then they fight you. Then they join you. They were um, laughing at us before. Now they're not laughing anymore. They're fighting. No, they're scared. So <laughs> the IRD, so that's basically the IRS equivalent to New Zealand, is basically the it the the I'm just gonna say the IRS so that you guys understand, but the IRD is essentially this, the equivalent to the to the to the IRS of New Zealand. So the IRS is requesting this information to en enhance our understanding of the cri crypto asset environment in New Zealand, so we can work out how best to help taxpayers meet their income tax applications it they phrased they phrased it so nicely yeah, yeah um, they, they so, phrased it with they phrased it with lube they, they exactly they, they lubed it up right lubed so, it up. so uh you know easy crypto i'm sure it's an exchange in uh in in new zealand they said they would comply because you have no choice really and uh you know Unfortunately, you know the, the 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 exchange over there said privacy is really important to uh, important to us. One of the tenets of cryptocurrency in general is is around having freedom and autonomy and privacy. So, man, it's it's it it sucks. 
And Phil, this is just following this pattern of, you know, the, the IRSs of the world, like basically uh, mandating that, you know, that customers of these exchanges turn over addresses and inform in, in, in information that makes them easily identifiable. And we, we pulled up that we were talking about this article earlier on the week, Phil, about how the Russian ministry yep. is even on the extreme end saying they want your actual physical Bitcoin addresses. And then the IRS is doing the same exact thing, you know, literally in the, in the 1040 us individual income tax of 2020 it literally one of the first things that it asks you at any time during 2020 did you receive sell send exchange or otherwise acquire any financial interest in a virtual currency like any if you had anything to do with 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 bitcoin even if you didn't sell it they want to know about it That's right. and man this this is this doesn't make me this doesn't make me uh this doesn't make me so so uh so, 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 so at peace, man, it's very nefarious here. Some nef nefarious activities happening right now, but you know what? They're fighting a losing battle because you, the moment that these people put more pressure on you to report your taxes, you know what Bitcoiners are going to do? We're not going to leave the system. That's We're right. We're going to stay in the system. This is exactly what I was just going to say as well. It's like all this is going to do now is force us to build out the Bitcoin ecosystem even faster. Okay, no problem. You know, it's like you, you want to know our addresses. Sure, we're just not going to go. We're not going to go back to your currency. Like it, 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 they're effed. At the end of the day, they're screwed. They can't do anything about it. You know, and, it, and it's like that meme yesterday where like the soap dispenser kept going yes. and the guy kept trying to clean it. Like, dude, you cannot kill this. Like and 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 we we also we, we we were talking about it the other day about how like um, Craig Wright and Gavin Anderson were like contracted by the NSA to you know kind of make bigger blocks so that it could become a centralized system, right? Like man, like the government has been trying to kill this since its inception, and it's unkillable, obviously. So man, honey badger, don't die, baby. And, um, man, so this next piece of news is sad, but at the same time, it's beautiful. So I just want to give, you know, just, Oh yeah. I, 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 you know, Hal Finney is one of my heroes. So, you know, rest in peace, rest in peace, man. You are a legend. You know, ALS is, is, is one of, one of the most horrible diseases that, that a human being could get. Um, I'm gonna put a link down the link down in the in the description it to to for you guys to donate to the ALS Foundation because it it really is is it really is an atrocious uh, atrocious disease. It's literally I, I don't think you can get a worse disease than that. And um, you know even though how how Finney may not may no, may no longer be with us, he's still helping us from the grave. That's how legendary man. How that's how legendary this man is. One of his proposals from 2011 may soon find its way to Bitcoin thanks to an expired patent. Yeah. So, it's very is very complicated. Um, you know, speaking about ellipt elliptic curves. Unfortunately, he couldn't pull it into Bitcoin Core back then because it was patented. However, um, the the patent expired, so um, it's it's been announced by uh it's been a it's been announced by the the current core bitcoin core developers that they are going to add this to the next uh bitcoin core update and it's basically bitcoin signature verification optimization right so instead of instead of uh you know instead of signing one transaction at a time what would happen is that you would sign it all in one block. So it completely optimized the system, right? And yeah. it's going to be included with the short signatures. Guys, this is not a technical news show, but if you guys want to know more about the technicalities of it, I'm going to put the article down in the link, link description and the GitHub if you guys want to find out more. But how Finney, man, still helping us, still helping us from above, baby. Rest in peace. And of course, guys, don't forget to... If you want to donate to the ALS Foundation and Phil, uh, there's some awesome software releases today. Why don't you tell us about it? Software releases. All right, today we've got oh nice. Okay, so Sparrow Wallet version 0.9.4 was released. 
Um, in that, we've got, uh, so they've built in Tor, uh, dark mode, uh, Spectre desktop wallet import and export capabilities, Electrum wallet label import, uh, Lectors and Explora supported, uh, and wallet output descriptors. So big release for Sparrow wallet. Shout out to Sparrow. And of course, guys, we will also put that down in the link description. Guys, this is the end of the show. Man, again, I can't, I can't stress this enough. Without you guys, this show wouldn't be possible. Me and Phil absolutely love all you guys. Thank you so much for, for this opportunity to give you guys only Bitcoin news and no shitcoin. coin.